Okay, so we'll cover Jellingcomb's hypersensitivity reactions and classification. We'll go through types 1 through 4. Um, type 1 being antibody mediated, onset is within minutes and acts to a foreign antigen. Type 2 is usually also antibody mediated, onset is within hours and uh, antigen is usually a self antigen. Type 3 um, is an immune complex reaction and uh, onset is within hours to days. Uh, the antigen is usually soluble. And type 4 is cell mediated, 2 to 3 days uh, onset. So we can see progressing of the size of, of the immune mediators from antibody to complex to cell in, in terms of mass and, and, and size. And also we can see the increase in time taken to, to the effect. Hypersensitivity uh, mediator molecules are uh, antibodies. They have Fab region, which is antibody, antigen binding, and uh, FC region, which is a uh, fragment that is constant or crystallizable. Um, and on that FC region on heavy chain, we have different chains which uh, help us classify the antibodies. So type 1 has uh, immunoglobulin E because of uh, epsilon chain on the heavy chain. Type 2 uses immunoglobulin G and M. Uh, respectively gamma and mu chains. Uh, type 3 also uses G and M and uh, type 4 hypersensitivities use CD4 po positive T helper 1 cells and cytotoxic uh, cluster differentiation 8 positive uh, T cells and macrophages. Now on to the mechanisms. Type 1 uh, hypersensitivity reaction occurs when uh, CD a four positive T helper one cell reacts to an antigen and releases interleukins, uh, which help B cells differentiate into plasma cells and secrete immunoglobulins, uh, namely IgE. Uh, immunoglobulins then uh, bind to mast cells through their receptors, which are uh, fragment crystallizable epsilon receptors, and uh, they are able to signal the cell when antigen is bound. Uh, when antigen is bound is usually second exposure to the antigen when we get this severe reaction. Uh, mast cells degranulate and release histamine, histamine uh, leukotrienes, uh, platelet activating factor, thromboxane and other um, inflammatory mediators. Uh, type 2 hypersensitivity reaction usually involves a classical complement mechanism where uh, Crystallizable, compl uh, crystallizable fragment uh, binds to complement one protein, which is a plasma protein, um, which then becomes activated and cleaved into various other complement proteins. Most important ones being uh, C3B, which uh, bind to cell and cause opsionization of the cell by macrophages, and C5 through 9, the cluster together and form membrane attack complexes, which uh, form pores and, and cause cell lysis on the, on the cell. Um, another important mechanism is uh, antibody-mediated cell-dependent cytotoxicity, and uh, this is mediated by uh, natural killer cells. They degranulate and cause apoptosis program to cell death. Type 3 usually uh, consists of, again, classical complement and opsionization. Uh, also, mast cells degranulate and uh, cause chemotaxis and inflammation of the region. Type 4 um, hypersensitivity reaction usually involves uh, macrophages ingesting an antigen and uh, presenting the major histocompatibility uh, complex fragment of it. And uh, CD4 positive T helper cells uh, react to that and proliferate. Uh, they release cytokines and uh, help CD8 positive cytotoxic T cells proliferate. Now, uh, cytotoxic T cells uh, then go on to recognize uh, these proteins on other cells and, and cause cell apoptosis. Often these uh, reactions involve uh, MHC2 gene mutations, which uh, allow us to allow our immune systems to attack uh, our own cells rather than uh, infected cells, for instance. So, uh, moving on to common examples in medicines used. 
Uh, type 1 usually involves hay fever, uh, allergic asthma, and anaphylaxis reactions. Uh, they're very common. Uh, most effects are vasodilation and airway constriction, then smooth muscle spasm and uh, mucus secretion, itching, which is caused by histamine mostly. Um, we use antihistamines uh, for that. We use also glucocorticoids and adrenaline for more serious um, cases. Adrenaline helps uh, to counteract vasodilation and helps clear the airways. Right. Type 2 antibody-mediated hypersensitivity. Uh, examples usually include hemolytic anemia and transplant rejection, where antibodies react to foreign antigens on our own cells, but they might be foreign cells, but still human cells. More interesting examples of Graves' disease and myasthenia gravis, where antibodies bind to antigens that are actually messengers, for example, receptors, and uh, they interfere with that transduction of signal and uh, cause a very specific type of disease. We use glucocorticoids. Uh, we use immunosuppressants like cyclosporin, uh, for treating these conditions, and we use rituximab, which acts on B cells and uh, prevents them from making so many antibodies, essentially. Um, type 3 immune complex reaction is usually a chronic reaction as they deposit um, these insoluble complexes of uh, antibodies, they deposit on tissues and cause constant inflammation. Uh, important examples are uh, systematic lupus erythematosus, most important cause of death is probably nephritis, but it affects a lot of organs. Uh, rheumatoid arthritis uh, affects joints mostly, um, various symptoms. Some cases of pneumonitis are type 3 uh, hypersensitivity, but quite a lot of them aren't. It's a quite deadly condition though. We use DMARDs and uh, BDMARDs, which are disease-modifying anti-rheumatoid uh, drugs. They basically target various mechanisms of inflammation or cell pro proliferation and uh, prevent them. They act as an anti-inflammatory, but also they treat the cause. They're very useful, and we usually use them in a combination. Uh, biologicals are not used that often, uh, but only in special cases. Glucocorticoids are often used in uh, non-steroidal also anti-inflammatory drugs are often used. Now on to type 4. Uh, memorable examples are diabetes mellitus type 1 in which B cells are beta cells are destroyed uh, in uh, pancreas by um, cytotoxic T cells and uh, also multiple sclerosis in which uh, myelin sheath is destroyed in the central nervous system on, on the neurons. Uh, quite a serious condition. What we use is a uh, Glutrimer um, helps to shift cell concentrations from T helper 1 to T helper 2, which um, counteracts some of the inflammation and regulates it. Interferon beta is used quite often, and uh, fingolimod, um, quite an interesting drug. It um, sequesters lymphocytes and lymph nodes and prevents them entering into central nervous system. Thank you for watching. I hope it helped. Um, see you on the next video.